Hi and welcome. I'm Sandy of Lolly and Sand, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. I'm so glad you've joined me this week. I'm using this celebration paper in the project that we're going to do today. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit about celebration and talk a little bit about it quickly. So celebration started July 1st. It goes to August 31st. One thing you don't want to do is to wait until August 31st because these items are while supplies last. So let's say you want the hippos and the hippo dies. Both of them are free. This is a $60 purchase and this is a $60 purchase. You can put that all in one order just so you know. Um, when this is gone, it's gone. And that's the same with everything in the book. Now, if you're wondering, oh, I'm not sure if I like the hippos or anything else in here you're not really sure of, just go to Pinterest and type Stampin' Up! And for example, Stampin' Up! Hippist Hippos. And you'll see samples. If you're on Instagram, just do hashtag Hippist Hippos. And you will see those. Now this is this is this paper. The picture's quite small here. So I thought I would show you um, larger samples. I am going to show you this too in the mini so I can explain how that works. But the paper is absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Which is why I chose it for this video. Now I just made a purchase and um, I don't have more celebration stuff yet but I will in the coming weeks. So free with a $60 order. Also here. This is really nice if you don't have a lot of supplies but you want uh, free cards and envelopes because you're going to get 20 bases and 20 envelopes in Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam. Um, and they're the regular, um, I think it's A4, which is what we use here. So the finished size is four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, very pretty. You can dress them up. And then also for a $60 purchase are these guys. The, the ducks, geese. Oh. I'm horrible. The fox. Just saw a fox yesterday um, coming from the park. And then these, this um, greenery as well. Same thing. This paper I almost missed. I didn't see the color. I was, I was so taken by this side of the paper. I almost missed this one. And in case you did too, free with a $60 order. This is silver and gold designer series paper. Um, I already forget if I said six by six. So there's silver and gold, yes. Uh, 24 sheets, 12 of each design. And again, free with a $60 order. This is, the, this is the item that I just put on my order. I saw the most beautiful card done using amazing phrases. So do the same there on, I think I saw it on Instagram. So you might wanna check there. You can check, maybe it's on Pinterest now. So that's free with a $120 order. Um, these are the tree, the, the tree lot dies that coordinate with the trees for sale stamp set, which is in the mini. It is so cute. This little trailer is adorable. I've seen it in so many colors in shiny paper and not shiny paper. I've seen it in like retro colors. It is awesome. And then the trees themselves. So the camper really is year round. I just think it is so pretty. And and all those dies are free with a $120 order. Also free with a $120 order is this set. Now, you know what? I wasn't really taken with it. That was a huge mistake. The samples that I've seen and this paper is absolutely gorgeous. Unbelievably gorgeous. So I made a mistake not getting that. That's what happens when I don't look at all the samples first. That is free. So you get the stamp set and the, let's see, 12 sheets, two of each, double-sided designs, uh, 12 by 12, 12 by 12? Yes, 12 by 12 paper. That's the Wonderful World stamp set. Gorgeous. And the samples, same thing. And, and you know, even as a demonstrator, I check out everything. Now this is a host set. So let's say your order gets up to um, $375 Canadian. I'm always talking Canadian, by the way. Um, being in Canada, um, you get this free, plus you get Stampin' Rewards as well, which is means you get more product. And then this, this last page talks about joining. For $135, you get $165 worth of goods, and 
you get the Making Plans collection, which is a stamp set and this planner. It's a 2022-2023 um, planner that and I've seen it, um, well, from dem other demonstrators, and it's lovely. It really is. So if you wanted to join my team, it's a good time to do so. Um, I'm going to show you the paper, and then the, with the one set, maybe both if I remember, I will show you um, the two coordinating sets. So this paper pretty well goes year-round the way I see it. I will show you the, the opposite side once we've looked at all the fronts. So I've taken out one sheet of everything. I would call this your Christmassy paper. Mm -hmm. Oh, facing the wrong direction, we have your field of flowers. Super pretty, and it almost looks 3D because there's lighter colors in behind and there's so many different colors of leaves it's just so pretty so pretty i saw a card last night at our team meeting um, using that and it was pretty now if you don't have a fall stamp set they are in the mini and if you don't have a fall stamp set you can get this paper and you've got fall right in your hands um, i'm not brave enough to fussy cut around this so maybe you are we're using this today. Look at the birds. They are so cute. And again, with a good little array of colors means I can put different colors in my card than I would usually put. The houses, love how pretty they look. Love, love, love. And then you've got your extra cute kind of, I don't even know what season we would call it. Let's call it anytime because it's so pretty. You have butterflies and um, Toadstools, mushrooms, I call them mushrooms, leaves, and such. Now we're going to flip it over. And then I'm going to tell you about my hand, because I forgot to do that. Alrighty, and I think we're facing the wrong direction. So on the back of the Christmassy looking paper, I got one, yes, are these um, tree branches. I am using this on my card with the birds. I thought it would look really pretty together. If you love your ginghams, there you go. Really pretty colors together as well. Now that is really, it's very happy paper. Now this one, it isn't my favorite. What's on the other side? Well, there you go. See, I'm gonna use that side. Um, but it is lovely nonetheless. It's kind of like, um, it's been, mm, not whitewashed, but it's got light and dark areas on it. Now this piece, I'm gonna turn it this direction, because it, to me it goes this way, is super cool. So this looks like, it, well it's painted, it's definitely um, watercolor, and it looks like like salt or something was um, splattered onto it because of the way these drops are. I could be completely wrong, I don't know. But look, it's on the other side, birdies! I know they're upside down now, because I turned it. Super pretty paper, which I love. Now this, this did not do anything for me. And then I saw a stunning card. Um, it was on Pinterest. So look up the name of the paper, which was Rings of Love, and you will find cards using this. Super pretty. This is the one I wanted to talk about as well. So this paper coordinates with this, this bundle here. So you can fussy cut these out if you don't have the dies definitely can do that. You can use it as a full piece. That's entirely up to you. However, with the bundle, you get um, you get the hybrid tree rings folder. So it's going to put, I hope you can see these, it's going to put these rings, like a tree, tree rings, on it. And then this is all, I believe this is all one big die, which they did show there it is. <laughs> there it is. This this die goes inside the folder with the paper and not only will it make the embossed bits, it will cut if you choose to use it that way. How cool is that? Or you can just use the embossing folder. Super cool. Super, super cool. Let me see if I can find the other one. Oh, the camp, the camping one. It's got to be one way or the other. And what's the chances I go the wrong direction? Hmm. Let us find out. We are going to get to making the card, of course. There's, oh, there they are. There's, there's so many pretty things in here. I, I have to tell myself to, like, stop looking at all the pretty things. You've got a card to make here today. Alrighty. So this coordinates with... I'm going to go back to this because 
it just makes more sense that you see everything together. Come to Sandy. Going the wrong direction. There we go. Coordinates with these dies. So this set is only $30. And you up that to 60 with whatever other item you want. Oh, sorry, 220, pardon me. Which is very easy to do when there's so many pretty things in the catalog. And you've got yourself a set of the, the dies free, including that camper. So, and there it is just with the trees, but it is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Okay, I have to stop talking. Stop talking, Sandy. We've got a card to make. All right, I do want to tell you, okay, two things. One, um, yes, my, my hand looks green um, and bruised and yucky. That's because I had a dog bite. Uh, my daughter's dog bit me kind of big time. And there's the other side. I can't quite bend my finger completely. I can't bend this part. So I was I was going to delay my my video and then thought, no, I have to I, let the show the show will go on. The show will go on. Um, did it hurt? Like crazy. Like crazy. I cried like a baby. A big baby. Anyway, let's get to the car. Oh wait, and my bogo is on. Okay. Bogo is on and so I'm just going to make up numbers, okay? But I'm going to stick with the celebration numbers. So if you were to spend $60 at my BOGO sale, not only do you get to then choose $60, or but well, you can put 60, those $60 towards your purchase in the annual catalog, the mini catalog, um, the clearance rack, whatever is in kits, whatever is up and running. And you also get celebration rewards for sixty dollars, one hundred and twenty, and so on and so on, and there's more goodies than that. I'm just gonna stop there because I'm I'm giving goodies too. So, read about that in the link on my blog, mm, pretty well everywhere that I've put it. All right, let's get this card going. <laughs> I think I've talked long enough. Okay, I have a surprise for you. Look, it's not white. Oh, <gasps> seriously. So this is um, Knight of Navy, and it is four and a quarter by eleven. And half of that is five and a half. So I scored it and then used my bone folders to make it nice and flat. My next layer is soft suede. This is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. It's gonna go right there. And then we have those, those branch trees. So here's the other side and here's this side. So that's gonna go right on top. And this is uh, four by five and a half. So we can put that together and then we'll keep rolling. Um, we're not heat embossing, shockingly. Shockingly, I know. I'm going to put these two together. I don't know why I like to put the layers on first. So you use whatever whatever adhesive works for you. I just like to make sure I get the corners down. You don't need a ton. You don't need to zigzag through the center. It's not going anywhere. If you choose to do that, that's fine. I'm just saying it's not really necessary. Already, it's a little tricky doing this, but I can do it. There. And then, same thing. We're not popping up yet. I think you can see on this one easier how I how I do my gluing. And making sure that my trees are going the right direction. And then, oh, my borders are quite narrow. I do like my, I do like them narrow. And let's just use that wiggle time and move that ever so slightly down. There we go. And we're on. Alrighty. So next, I took the, the birdie paper. And on the back is that really cool design. Even that looks cool like that, doesn't it? But it doesn't go with my card. So there they are there. I used the layering circle. So this is the largest, I think it's the largest, the largest of the scallops and the largest of the circles we'll just make a circle and put that on whip there is a front and a back if you feel this you can feel it's rougher um, on that side so you know that's the back and I glued myself <laughs> you know I try to get my fingers out of the way it doesn't always work but I do try okay just wiping some of the glue off so I don't get stuck to everything so this gives a really nice little well, you can see it better on there a nice little border. So I did this and I went, oh, that is like way too much going on. So I took another piece of the soft suede 
and I have embossed it using the stripes and splatters folders folder <laughs> now there's two actually and what I did so here they are here there's the stripes there's the splatters and I cut this the width of this so oh I forget this hmm. well I know this is four inches across it's the same as the uh, DSP oh is my ruler not handy that's weird I'm gonna say let's see if that's four then I'm gonna say it's a little bit over three so I'm going to get my cutter we have a little bit of cutting to do sorry for I stopped talking there for a second because if I turn my head I don't think you can hear me all right so I thought this was a little too plain Jane for me you know what I mean just a little bit too much and I may not even use the full piece but we'll find out so you've seen the um, scrappy strips um, Bruno Bertucci was doing those so I'm I'm cutting basically like that so I'm gonna cut this way and then that way then this way and that way just to make a little pattern kind of and we'll just see how we like it so I don't measure but I do want to keep these in order that's kind of important so we'll see what we can do there um, let me just think if I went that way for that one I go this way for this one I don't want them to be too wide at the end so some might be a little well that didn't cut there get her lined up against Sandy uh oh it's not perfect not perfect where there's a will there's a way though get our scissors thankfully I'm a lefty when it comes to scissors this would not be happening here we go and yes I am a big baby big 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 baby big 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 baby so that made that a little bit rough so I'm not completely happy with that but some of it's going to be covered up anyway so it doesn't matter I don't know why that didn't cut by the way I've, I really don't unless I just I didn't do that which might be it oh again are you kidding me <laughs> no not again yes again that felt pretty close that's yeah, pretty close all right and then we'll do this one notice how it's getting harder to hang on to it eh, come through there and one more and we've got everything cut all right so everybody stay put while I get rid of the cutter and we'll turn them this way I definitely don't need that many I think on my original one two three well, I use quite a few actually so I'm gonna start down here um, I decided that I had to make it you know extra fun so what I did on the original is every second one I popped up on dimensionals now this one's wider so I'm gonna go the easy route for me no I'm not no I am NOT gonna go the easy route stop being a baby there and we'll do that and then the next one so um, in the interest of time because I took so long talking I am going to glue this and it's just easier on my little fingers if I don't have to I <laughs> and I think I am gonna make on my first one I put them really close together and wasn't completely liking that so and this one can use a little bit of wiggle time to move that way move that way and if it doesn't it's not the end of the world might be too late for that one okay I did turn that one over kind of have to keep track talking while you're working makes a big difference all right so if you're not talking I'm usually singing along with the uh, the music that I have on okay I'm liking that and put that one over if you do make a mistake you can't really see the pattern that well so if you make a mistake it is not the end of the world okay and you have to put one upside down no biggie I'm not really liking the way is this the one I had to cut I think so <laughs> try to get in there not bad other thing you can use use your fingernails and just get that under all right 
one thing I want to do is keep track of this. So I'm actually going to put just one more on after this. I think this one's down quite a ways. No, maybe not. I was thinking it was down further than the original. Uh, down on the page further. And either way. Yeah, I'm liking those lines. I'll move that up just a little bit. Liking the lines. Okay, last one. I was really... Oh, I know why. You know what? Maybe I have to leave it there. Let me take a look. <gasps> no, I want the lines. This side. Wait. This side. This side. Really, really seriously. Yeah. See what I mean? If you don't keep track, absolutely fine. Not the end of the world. If you mess up like I think I just did. <laughs> I did. Hmm. Okay, well, thankfully, most of that's going to be covered up. See, this is going to cover here. So you don't tell anybody, okay? And I made that mistake. I just want to see if I want this here. That guy has to come down a bit. This is why I like the glue I'm using. Because I can wiggle wangle around. I will put that top one on. Will I? Oh, decisions, decisions, my friends. Oh, my goodness. And which way the birdies are going to go, too. I do not know. No, I think I'll stop there. I'm, wanting, I'm not showing you the original quite yet. Let me just see. Oh, yeah. We're right on. Right on, right on. So I'm not putting this on yet because we have more pieces. And we have to do a little bit of stamping as well. So let's move. We'll keep that one handy just in case I change my mind. It's been known to happen. And I've already cut this side. I've already cut from the, um, what are they called? Stylish Shapes dies. Um, cut the banner. If you don't have these dies, you're going to want them. I also cut a larger banner because we're going to double banner. I don't even know if that's the real word. Now, normally when I do this, I, um, I stamp and then die cut, but not this time. I do need to put a little paper underneath because I might go over the ends. I'm not sure. So, and I will try to get as close as I can. So I'm using Night of Navy and I'm using Happy Birthday. I'll just show you this from the Happiness Abound stamp set. This one right here. This is the, the stamp set that I used in Stamp Camp that was on, we put on a couple months ago. Yeah, it looks like it's going to go over the ends. Okay, I have to get like right up and over this. Do you ever find when you're stamping at that very moment you have to stop talking? <laughs> so you get it. Oh, that's not very good, but check it out. Look, I have a second one. Oh, surprise. Let's see if we don't do it crooked this time. I'm pretty sure I don't have this even on the um, on the stamp. Like I didn't line it up nice and straight. Okay, what we what we can do though is line this up to here. And commit. Just make that commitment, Sandy. It's perfectly fine. I'm liking that one better. And this is why I do too. I know there's two sides, but this side's bumpy. <laughs> so not right now. We're not done stamping though, so let's let's get all the stamping out of the way. All right, I do have a piece of just basic white, not the thick, it's just the regular. And this piece is, let me just think of the size. Yep, it is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And from that same set, the happy birthday, Okay, I'm going to line this up with the bottom of my um, piercing mat. And you want to use a piercing mat when you're using the photopolymer stamps. All right, I'm just going to lean over again. There. I don't, I don't rush that. I don't go boop, boop. I want to make sure the ink stays there. And I love that they put two fonts on there. You know me, I'm a two-font kind of girl. All right, we're going to do some assembly now and make this pretty. First thing I'm going to do is this. What? Yes, I did. I cut it in half. The reason for that is I want it to show on both sides, and it won't otherwise. I'll show you. 
that looks silly. So if I cut it and do that, you can see it on both sides. All right, so let's get this together. I kind of want, well, no, because my banner is going to go right there. I'm going to put it on a little tippy too, like that. Tippy too. Okay, keep it like that. All right. And again, you can use whatever glue you want. I think on my, I thinked, I think on my original, I didn't think, I really didn't. On my original, I used um, stamp and seal. Make sure that's, it's hard to get something straight when you have crooked lines. It's true, very true. All right, give that some glue. And then I'm gonna turn it sideways so I can see if they're lined up. And I can use something like this. They're pretty good. Not 100% perfect, but. There, a wee adjustment works lovely. Okay, before I put this down, I am getting my favorite ribbon, my new favorite ribbon, which is the glittered organdy ribbon. And I'm gonna cut two pieces. Well, I'm gonna cut one, then I'm gonna cut it into two. So I'm gonna kind of go like that. So let's cut it around here. And, oh, silly girl. I don't actually want them the same length. I never want them the same length. That's just the way I rock and roll. I'll go like that. Heck, I can partially bend it. Ah, what a relief. Okay. I'm just going to do a little minor crisscross right about there. So if I hold those, get this, take that off. Now, a lot of this is going to be covered up, so I can go a little bit more generous than I sometimes do. Oh, pulling up the paper. Good gracious. Again, thankfully, that's going to be underneath. I may have to stick something on to hold. Oh, maybe not. Looks like it's staying. All right. Let's get our dimensionals out and our sentiment handy. Now I'm running out of the big guys. Well, I have more packages. Okay, I'm running out of what's on this particular page. Eh, just use this hand. This is doubled so I don't feel the necessity to put one in the center. And for so along with this um, video that you'll see it's first going on to Facebook on July the 12th on July the 15th it will go on to YouTube uh, blog will go live on the um, 15th as well and it's part of an insta hop which is our team insta hop um, our stamping symphony insta hop Okay, and this is going to go right here. Covers that birdie a little bit, but that's okay. It was kind of my concern. All right, so for this one, I'm going to use the minis. We don't need too many, just what hangs over, over on the birthday side. On this side, I think I can do this. Are you too wide for this? Nope. It does not appear that way. There we go. Oh, take the backings up. Never sticks when the backings are on, just so you know. <laughs> Humor. Ha. Huh. We're not done yet because we have more to do on the inside of the card. And a little bit more on the front, too. So I'm just going to line up those banners. So I think that kind of suits it. So I only put... Did I go too far? I did, too. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. This is a good part where you can take this off and say, that's in the wrong spot. I only needed one of these by the looks of things there. That's the beauty of it. Okay, so I just, I took one dimensional off because I went too far on that side. I'm going to finish with the front and then we will finish the inside and that will be the card. Alrighty, so basic rhinestones. Come to Sandy. All right. My favorite. My favorite. I'm going to go down here. That's a definitely wonky triangle. I always go for wonky. 
that's the front of my card. I may snip that off a little bit, and this might be a little bit too high. But let's finish the inside because I have a little surprise for you. Okay, so when I was cutting my paper, I made a massive mess of it because I just wanted certain parts. So I took one of my... Um, uh, I always forget the name of them. Stylus Shapes dies. And I just, I mostly wanted this birdie and a little bit of that one. This is going to go right down here. I did something different on my original, so I will show you that. Let's, well, let's just pick it up and put it back down. Good idea. See, so I can pick it up now and just make sure it's flush with the bottom. Beautiful. I just thought that'd be a nice little surprise to see that on the inside of the card. All right, here we go. And in they go. I love the Knight of Navy with white. Those, that, those are probably my two favorite colors together. It just looks so crisp and clean, and I love the way that's stamped. All right, let's bring in the original. So my, you can see my lines are kind of going a different direction. They turn out how they turn out. Here's the inside of this one. So I used two instead of one. I really wasn't sure what I was doing, so I thought we'll just make it and figure it out. I kind of like that they're different too. And my friends, guess what? That is my video. So if you would do me a favor and comment, if you like my video, please comment. If you like my video, please subscribe. You can share my video. Um, again, subscribe. That's that's big one. And you can always shop with me here in Canada. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would be very happy to help you along your creative path. Um, again, all the all of the the links and such are right there, up or down, depending on where you're looking at this. And I hope to see you on our, um, our blog hop or Insta hop on Friday, the 15th of July. Thank you so much, my friends. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.